एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आम डॉक्टर अंकिता धामेजा होम्योपैथिक कंसल्टेंट एंड अ कॉस्मेटोलॉजिस्ट एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज फॉर ऑल दोज वो वॉन्ट अ सिंगल स्किन केयर प्रोडक्ट फॉर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द स्किन कंसर्न्स लाइक डार्क स्पोर्ट्स पिगमेंटेशन एंड डार्क एक्ने मार्क्स अन इवन स्किन टोन एंड प्री मेचोर साइंस ऑफ एजिंग सो uh and uh even for those who are not fond of using two to three steps skin care routine daily but want a single product that they can use it every day uh to prevent skin skin concerns then it is sunscreen see if you are using uh, so many different kind of the branded product but if you are missing very basic step and that is applying sunscreen then all your efforts are useless uh and i believe uh, out of the many different kind of the uh, anti aging creams and um, anti aging treatments sunscreen is uh, the most effective and most inexpensive one that you can use into your daily skin care routine so sunscreen also known as sunblock and it can absorb or reflect sun's harmful uv rays uh, uh, and protect our skin from the sun damage or photo damage like sun tan sunburn uh, pigmentation uneven skin tone even skin cancer also so for that you need to understand what are uv radiation so apart from so many beneficial effect of the sun it has the rays uh, that uh, we cannot see and that are the uv radiations we cannot see uv rays because it has a shorter wavelength than the visible lights and that's why we are not able to see the uv radiations so uv radiations uh, is uh, there are the three main type of the uv radiations uv a uv b and uv c but uv c is not that of concern because uv c rays are get absorbed by the ozone layer but uh, the for sun protections from the uva and uvb is most important as you can see uva is having longer wavelength and it accounts for 95% of the total radiation while it is having longer wavelength it can penetrate the deeper layer of the skin and it damages the collagen and elastin which is present in our skin see elastin and uh, collagen is a protein a type of the protein that gives uh, skin structure and firmness tightness so while it damages the elastin and collagen it cause premature aging wrinkling of the skin so remember uva as uh, for the aging of the skin and now b so b is having shorter wavelength and it accounts for the 5% of the total radiation uh, as it is having the shorter wavelength it can uh, penetrate up to the superficial layer of the skin top layer of the skin that is epidermis of the skin and here it damages the dna and the cells nuclei and it also causes the pigmentation and even skin tone sunburn and tan and uh, it also uh, plays important role in causing skin cancer so remember b for the buns uvb for buns and a for aging so for, uh, let us understand the effect of uv radiation on the skin so first is sun tan so here uh, uv a rays cause uh, the darkening of the melanin pigment which are present in our skin so now you may wonder what are the melanin right so melanin is the pigment which is responsible for the color of our skin hair and eyes so dark skin people have more pigments than the melanin pigments than the light skin people have and uh, here uv a rays cause the darkening of the melanin pigments which are already present in our skin so that is why it is responsible for the immediate darkening of the skin after the exposure well uv b is uh, causes the increased productions of the melanin pigments and it uh, induces the delayed tanning i mean you may have noticed that uh, uh, the tanning gets more visible after 2 to 3 days of the exposure and that is because of the uv b rays so uh, like tanning is the skin's own way to protect itself from the further uv damage but it itself is a damage so there is nothing like a healthy tan uh, any skin color changes from our natural skin tone is a skin dam uh, sun damage now second one is sunburn so sunburn is a term used for uh, red sometimes swollen and painful skin condition which is caused by over exposure to ultraviolet rays so uv radiations overdose of the uv radiation can kill the upper layer this most of the cells from the upper layer of the skin and uh, the cells which are not killed get damaged and remember sunburn is the most important factor which is responsible for the uh, skin cancers 
Now third one is the photo aging. So photo aging is a premature aging which is caused by the repeated uh, exposure to UV radiation and uh, see aging is inevitable. We are going to age over the time but our natural aging process is dependent on the time and genetics. But on the other hand photo aging uh, in photo aging it is uh, the premature aging which is caused by the sun damages. Uh, it can you know uh, affect our skin it can cause uh, deep uh, wrinkles it can cause the thickening of the skin even the uh, the wrinkles around the mouth and uh, eyes get uh, increased in the number so here you can see uh, there is unprotected your part and the protected part from the uv radiation see one side you can see the deep wrinkles and uh, the thickening of the skin which shows the uh, years of exposure without the protections and uh, on the other side you can see the natural aging there are a the lot of the difference you won't believe but 90 percent of the skin's aging is due to these sun damages yes and in the last skin cancer yes in worst case sun damage can cause uh, skin cancer it's not more prevalent in india but uh, one in five north american develop some kind of the skin cancer in their lifetime so this was all about the effect of uv radiation on the skin and at the same time uh, the benefits of using sunscreen you can prevent uh, like uh, premature aging sunburns and tan then pigmentation dark spot and even skin tone etc by uh, using sunscreen to your daily routine so in my next video i will discuss a different kind of the sunscreen uh, then spf what is spf how to choose right spf number etc so like share and subscribe my channel to get notified thank you